First of all, the smell just slaps you in the face when you come to this street in Harrogate. You name it, it's been dumped here. Check it out behind me. You can see tires. You can see a baby car seat, mattresses. It's all here. Neighborhood groups are desperate for help. The smell is putrid. It's, it's not something you would want to walk down the street and smell. It's inhabitable. Out of control illegal dumping in Harrogate. Survivor Street near Castor is littered with everything. There's even an old toilet thrown on the ground. Sean McLean is with the Harrogate Civic Association. He spends his weekends cleaning up all this garbage. You got people who want to invest here, who want to build properties, invest in the neighborhood. When they walk by this in city streets, they're not going to want to invest in our community because of this. Across the street is a business that also doubles as a church. Add the owner as another person fed up with the constant cars dropping off all their garbage. It seems to me that if we don't do something quickly, this is going to be out of control completely. Less than a mile away near Tioga and Allen, we found the same thing happening. Construction debris, old toilets and garbage bags stacked up high. The city has added surveillance cameras in some areas and increased fines. We sent the city photos of the area but haven't heard back yet. Sam Oropisa with rescuing our streets through cleanups wants all hands on deck. I would just like people to come together a little bit more, you know, hold people accountable and work with the city where, yeah, we could get cameras. Yeah, the people who are doing this, they sh it should be known who's doing this. It's not fair. They say help can't come fast enough. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.